Hey, what's up? Pixelflux here, and today we're gonna be talking hoses. Not the real ones, 3D ones. I couldn't afford any real ones. Um, anyway, all jokes aside, if you want something like this for your scene, you know, it just kind of like bends and, you know, it does stuff. You can possibly connect some stuff with them, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty good for connecting stuff. Or uh, maybe something like that. You know, it's pretty versatile. Um, it's really simple to con to uh, create in 3ds Max, and I'll show you how. So uh, basically, if you go to your Create panel and you go to Extended Primitives, you've got a hose. So we're just gonna create that hose. And uh, you've got a few parameters here that we need to edit to get it looking as pretty as mine does. Um, first of all, my hose has quite a few um, segments, which is what we need to get it looking nice and bendy. So I'm just gonna give it something like, something ridiculous, like 600 segments. Um, 24 sides, 36 sides, something like that. Um, let's see, the flex section can start, you know, anywhere and any way. So that's kind of the ridgeless section there. So we're going to say 95 and it starts at 5. Oops, 5. There we go. And we also have another parameter somewhere here. Cycles. And that cycles actually um, tells us how many ridges we need to create there. So say it's got five, one, two, three, four. Well, actually, the, the, they're kind of the deep ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to give it something like 50. There we go. That's a hose, but it looks really weird right now because it's um, the ridges are too deep. So I'm just gonna give the diameter value of minus eight. I think that looks a bit more human. Something like, you know, like what humans would make. Anyway, um, let's give it a dark color. Boom. There we go. So now it kind of looks something like that. But how do we make it bend? Um, first of all, let's create a couple of uh, spheres, maybe. You know, something to follow, to lead the hose. That looks highly suggestive right now. I know what you're thinking, but it's nowhere near as hilarious. Hmm. Anyway. So let's pick up the uh, hose and uh, attach it to the balls <laughs> uh, from the top and bottom. And voila, that's what we get. It's kind of crazy, but we can remedy that with the tension parameter. Now the tension parameter actually tells us how stiff or how rigid the hose is. So we want quite a low value. For that hose there, I went with the tension 2020, so 100 and 100 obviously is quite high. So let's go 20 and 20. That's more like it. Um, let's just... Um, take that sphere there and let's just squish it down a little bit. I've, I've literally modeled these suction cups things um, from Sphere using Edit Poly really quick. So, you know, you can do something like that. So there we go. And it works. Really simple. You know, no effort required, almost. Just a little bit of knowledge. Pretty cool. Um, Let's see. One thing that I did forget to mention is, say, if you were attaching these to a box, 
um, they probably wouldn't work right. So let's just create a couple of boxes here, like a couple of cubes. There we go. Just gonna make him gray again. So if I did the same thing as I did on these, they wouldn't really work right. I mean, that's not really right, is it? Not really. So what's the problem there? Basically what happens is um, the hose is actually following the pivot points. And if we check out the pivot points on these objects, they're really screwed up. I mean, that's all the way at the bottom there, and that's all the way there, but somehow our hose is kind of bending up onto each other, onto itself. You know, it's kind of really weird. One way to fix it would be going to the pivot um, editing tab there and affecting the pivot only. And it always follows the Z to be kind of where the hose comes out of. So I'm just going to rotate that 180 degrees. I'm going to take that box and I'm going to move and snap the pivot point to the top there. And that's remedied that. Really simple. Now we've got this contraption here. So we can possibly rotate that. You know, do something like that. It's pretty cool. And uh, obviously we can do the same thing with a spring, which not everyone knows, unfortunately. You know, something like that. Whee! There we go. So really simple. And actually the spring is not located in extended primitives. You won't find it here. It's actually... Cons um, situated in dynamics objects, so spring, and we've got a piston as well. So, you know, if you need to make like a, like a steam engine or whatever, you know, that's a pretty good pre-rigged solution. So uh, that's it for this really quick tutorial there. Um, if you find this useful, you know, please do subscribe. It keeps me going and making more videos like this. Um, you can also, you know, check out, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, you know, what have you. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I do tend to respond to each and every single comment. If you've got a problem, there's a good chance that I will solve it for you. So uh, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.